study skills, set any purpose before you start reading a text. Think about what you know about the topic and what you would like to know about it. This will help you to improve your reading skills. A new dimension to art. Computer-generated imagery, CGI, has greatly influenced and changed the way we see and do things that would have been impossible to even imagine before. Over the years, three-dimensional computer graphics and animation have been applied to all areas of the media, such as films, television programs and video games, to enhance the visual and special effects. Each project added new inventions or techniques to make the virtual images more realistic. But one film came along to combine the media and bring the technology many light years ahead. Avatar. When James Cameron, the director and creator of Avatar, first imagined the world of Pandora and the Navi humanoid tribe, there was no available technology to help him make his dream come true. He had to wait a few years for technology to catch up to him and finally start filming in 2001. Although CGI was widely used in many box office hits, there were some limitations. Motion capture techniques were used to create digital or animated characters. This was done by having actors wear suits full of markers with reflectors on them, which recorded their movements on a computer. Graphic artists would then combine these images with their 3D graphic designs and animation and produce realistic movement and action for their characters. However, this technology could not show detailed human expressions or realistic landscapes. Cameron found a way to do just that. In Avatar, the characters not only have a full range of natural body movements, but complete facial expressions as well. Cameron helped develop a one-of-a-kind technique to copy the movements of lips, eyes and mouths. Actors were given special headgear to wear equipped with a camera. As a result, every muscle and eye movement was recorded and used to make the digital characters in the film truly authentic and lifelike. To make the world of Pandora even more realistic, many fields of knowledge were used and integrated with art. Experts in biology, engineering and physics worked closely with talented artists and illustrators to create this magnificent world. Great attention to detail was applied to each creature, character and the surrounding environment, including every plant and leaf. Somehow that wasn't enough for the director. He had to take it a step further. After years of dreaming about it, Cameron developed the first 3D camera that combined the live-action scenes with the computer-generated scenes. Video gaming technology was used along with a virtual camera and a simulation camera to create a virtual production stage for the director through a computer. But how is that possible, you might ask? CG images were sent to the virtual camera, while the simulation cam combined CG characters and the designed environments into the 3D fusion camera. After all, fusion means to join many things together to make one. All the director had to do was look through the eyepiece and direct these virtual scenes as if he would a live action scene. This had never been done before. With the use of state-of-the-art technology, a strong team of experts and creative artists and loads of imagination, the director had managed to interact with and control every aspect of the virtual film he was directing. The film Avatar, with its 3D effects, managed to absorb the audience into the world of Pandora and give them a feeling of interaction like that of a video game. While video games have not succeeded yet in creating such realistic 3D worlds for players, the groundbreaking technology used in the film will certainly lead the way. The same teams that worked on the film released a 3D Avatar game, but they are also working on improving the three-dimensional experience for future projects. James Cameron from Titanic to Avatar.
He's well known for his temper on set and need to pioneer new cinematic technologies in order to bring his iconic visions to life. Today we're taking a look at the career of director James Cameron. James Cameron was born in Ontario, Canada in 1954. He went on to study physics at California State University, Fullerton. Merely a year into his studies, he dropped out to marry a waitress and drive a truck. However, he underwent a life-altering moment of clarity when he saw Star Wars in 1977. As a result, Cameron left his job and wife to pursue a career in the hopes of creating his own sci-fi epics. Cameron got his start as the art director for Roger Corman's Battle Beyond. Beyond the stars. I have come with my forces. If you resist, I will crush you. The job had been given to him following a screening of his own 12-minute film, Xenogenesis, which showcased his ability to produce stunning visual effects. In 1981, Cameron worked his way up to the director's chair for the film Piranha 2, The Spawning. The shoot was a terrible experience for Cameron, as the film had an extremely low budget and a crew that only spoke Italian. Due to the stress he was under, Cameron experienced a nightmare about a robot assassin from the future. This inspired him to write the screenplay for 1984's The Terminator, which he brought to life with the help of friends from the marketing department at Corman's production studio. The film became an unprecedented success, which instantly revolutionized the action movie genre and propelled Arnold Schwarzenegger into Hollywood stardom. Hasta la vista. Baby. His success caused 20th Century Fox to pursue him as the writer and director for 1986's Aliens, the high-profile sequel to Ridley Scott's groundbreaking sci-fi horror film Alien. Despite friction caused by a crew that constantly stopped to take breaks, Cameron managed to defy expectations and was rewarded at the box office for producing a strong narrative, characters, and unparalleled visual effects. He was again pursued to direct The Abyss in 1989. However, cost overruns due to his elaborate set pieces and three cancelled release dates caused the film to fail financially. The tense underwater shooting and severe shouting matches Cameron had with his actors, which resulted in their refusal to participate in promotional events, did not help the project either. In the wake of this setback, Cameron formed Lightstorm Entertainment so he could have full creative control of his projects without studio intervention. His first order of business was to create his impressive sequel to The Terminator. Terminator 2 Judgment Day instantly became Cameron's biggest success up to that point, while claiming numerous awards for industry-leading effects, all made possible by the technology that Cameron's crew had begun pioneering during the production process of The Abyss, such as the liquid metal effects that were central to the movie. Cameron then followed up with various projects that were uncharacteristic for the director, such as his spy film True Lies. Harry! the gun and the futuristic film noir production Strange Days, which he co-wrote and co-produced. These projects helped him bide his time until he could truly position himself as one of cinema's most iconic directors with 1997's Titanic. The film became one of the most visually stunning, expensive, and profitable pieces of celluloid ever produced. The demands he placed on his talent and crew were so high that he drove them to the brink of exhaustion during their two-year filming schedule. His budget also kept ballooning until it reached a record-breaking $200 million. As a result, Cameron decided to forego his own paycheck in order to ensure that he maintained full creative control. In the wake of Titanic, Cameron took a 10-year absence from feature filmmaking. During that time, he served as the producer for both the television show Dark Angel and Steven Soderbergh's film Solaris. Cameron then ventured back to the themes of his previous films by directing the documentaries Ghost of the Abyss, and Aliens of the Deep for IMAX. These projects allowed him to satisfy his fascination surrounding the mysteries hidden in the ocean's depths. There she is, baby. With a vocal audience that clearly wanted James Cameron to create yet another cinematic epic, he finally returned to feature filmmaking with his 2009 sci-fi masterpiece, Avatar, a movie that he had envisioned over a decade earlier but was unable to make due to limitations in technology.
Computer generated imagery. Computer generated imagery. Influence. Influence. Three dimensional computer graphics. Three dimensional computer graphics. Animation. Animation. Apply. Apply. Enhance. Enhance. Visual effects. Visual effects. Virtual image. Virtual image. Light year. Light year. Humanoid tribe. Humanoid tribe. Reflector. Reflector. Realistic movement. Realistic movement. Landscape. Landscape. Headgear. Headgear. Muscle. Muscle. Truly authentic. Truly authentic. Lifelike. Lifelike. Field of knowledge. Field of knowledge. Integrate with. Integrate with. Surrounding. Surrounding. Simulation camera. Simulation camera. Production stage. Production stage. State of the art technology. State of the art technology. Interact. Interact. Absorb. Absorb. Groundbreaking. Groundbreaking. Lead the way. Lead the way. Lead the way.